of the uh, the, uh, the bill to be aligned with the the, the, the policy, the alcohol policy. We there are areas we had looked at. We looked at the Tobacco Act. We looked at the Succession Act. We looked at the uh, also the the Still Succession Act, uh, but looking at specifically eligibility to make a will. And also we looked at the Marriage Act. They all, those are all pertinent areas, and they all look talk of 21 years and above. So that's why we looked at that. And also, Madam Chair, being that the religious institutions are the major stakeholders uh, in, in education, that most over 65% of the schools in Uganda are owned or are founded by the religious institutions, when we talk of the ages of 18, those are still our learners in school. So when you talk of the ages of 5 to 21, those are the school-going children in our schools. So uh, we have to look into that. If we are parents, we really have to see that you can, your child cannot come to you and ask for money going to buy a uh, wallet. That is really bad to a parent, and it is a wrong uh, element. Then also we looked at, I will identify the one which was left out, by uh, Apostle Dr. Joseph Shavada. That is item number six. Uh, item number six, we highlighted that there is a need for an impact assessment. It is not; it shouldn't only be licensing, but there should be also an impact assessment. What is the impact before licensing and also renewal of license? So those are some of the areas. And also item number four, we looked at uh, that the, the bill to specifically spell out a mandatory uh, approach to um, a mandate, a mandatory uh, it should make it mandatory institutions to to come out with policies banning any, any kind of sale or use of drugs within the school uh, school environment. So the bill should be spe should spe specifically come out to air that out that no school environment shall allow the sale of alcohol. Uh, basically, those are the few areas I can look at. Thank you. Good enough. So education is here. Who she has taken note in her submission she will also comment. Honorable members, I think, let me give you time now. If there are questions to the presenters, this is the time. Not your comments, not your opinion, questions and clarification. If there is anything that you need to ask about, this is the time. I appreciate your input to this process as Interreligious Council. You are advising Parliament to be concerned about the economic and social impacts of alcohol consumption, but also should take cognizance of the economic and social impacts of alcohol in society as a whole which is, I think, good. We appreciate. Members, is there any question for Interreligious Council of Uganda? Yes. Honorable Tom Bright Amoti, then. Yes, after Amoti. All right. Um, thank you so much. I've been impressed by your presentation. Yes. Thank you so much. My, I have two comments. Observation number four. You talked about um, IRC, you observed that while the bill does not seek to apply for manufacture of native liquor for domestic use, local tradition ceremonies, observe that it is in this area of production where so many people easily have access to alcohol drinks. I do agree with that. You therefore recommend the need for local domestic brewers, producers to comply with the set standards. How do you think, in your opinion, my mother, who never went to school is brewing the local Malua, Kwete, in the village uneducated, in your opinion, to comply to the standards set by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards, so that it complies. Because the brew is everywhere. You're saying even those ones should be brought to the market for compliance. The last one is on your summary of the recommendations 
which are so great. Thank you so much. Bullet number three, establishment of a rehabilitation fund. Madam Chair, this is a great initiative. Um, in your opinion, don't you think that this will be double taxation to the manufacturers? And how will they be able to contribute to financing this fund? I agree with the principles because the manufacturers are the ones making us intoxicated. And if we become insane, they should pay for our rehabilitation. They are the ones who hold the pipe. They should play to the tune. I agree. But won't that be double taxation? Final, Madam Chair, bullet number second last. Second last, I want to go back to my age, the age of 21 and above. You agree to that proposal. But you've said that the proposed age for access to alcohol should be 21. Access does not mean utilization. Do you intend to say use or access? Because there I get clarified on that. Thank you. Yes, Doctor. Thank you, Chair. 